What's up, everyone? This is Jasmine Viegas, and you're watching Celeb Secrets for You. It's honestly a really good feeling for the simple fact that I haven't put out music in a while and a lot of my fans have just been waiting so patiently and it's weird for you know a fan base to support a singer who has no songs out. So you know we've been working really hard and trying to perfect the songs and get the right features and finally put it out. It feels amazing. It's like an unreal feeling because I've never put out an EP before or an album so it's a first for everything. I love all the songs individually because they're all so different but you know That's Me Right There is definitely one of my favorites because I have Kendrick Lamar on it and that's just crazy but I would have to say Me Without You is also another one of my favorites because it's so deep in what it's saying and it's actually a girl breaking down and admitting she's wrong. And nowadays as girls, I mean, I'll be honest, I don't ever like to admit when I'm wrong. So I think it's really cool that the fact that in the song it's a girl really breaking down and trying to win her man back because she knows she was in the wrong. I would like to describe my sound as pop urban, so it's a mixture of both. But my songs are really relatable and they come from a place like kind of deeper than people actually feel. Like me, I've gone through a lot of the stuff I sing about in songs. And um, I take situations that my friends have been through or my family or just stuff I feel like people want to hear. And I always make sure that I can put out a song that people will listen to and be like, wow, I've gone through that. And it's like she's reading my mind. So I've always want to be relatable and be able to have music that can fit to every mood for people if they're happy or if they're sad. And I think that's an accomplishment in itself. I'm a little uncomfortable with writing by myself because I get a little nervous and insecure if I write like a bad song so I always partner up and collab with the writer and we go through beats and it always starts with the beats because you can can tell when you hear a beat if it's a sad song or if it's going to be a happy song or what kind of song it's going to be and then right when we pick the song we talk about well what do you want to talk about what are you going on what's going on in your life what do you feel like you need to touch base on what do you think people need to hear and we sit down and we go through ideas and we write it out and that's how, kind of how the song comes out. Dealing with critics, it's a tough one because I mean, at the end of the day, you have to really realize, and it took me a while to realize that you can't please everybody. And that's kind of what I had to realize is that I spent all this time trying to fulfill everybody else's needs that I forget about myself, and I'm only tearing myself apart. So I just learned to ignore it and know that if people don't like it, then you just make something better next time and you have to grow. You can't, everything can't always be on point. Not everybody's gonna like your stuff. So as long as you have your true supporters there and you have people being honest with you as you go along and you make the song, then I feel like you can't lose that way. My advice for anybody who would wanna become a singer is just know that it's a very long process and it doesn't just happen overnight for most people. And just always keep your head up. Always go towards your goal. Don't let anybody change it or try to take it from you because there's gonna be people out there who want what you have and you have to keep going and you have to trust in God and you have to keep a really good circle of people around you and just have fun it has to be fun it can't feel like a job because then you're not going to want to do it anymore mm -hmm.